All right. Um, we're looking at a problem of adding consecutive numbers. Um, so sums of consecutive integers is like a whole uh, set of problems like this. And this one, we're adding together, let me check what I want to shoot for here, 294. I'm adding together four consecutive integers that add up to 294. And when I say sum, I mean add sum of consecutive integers, and consecutive means right next to each other. So, for example, 5, 6, 7, 8 are consecutive integers. 9, 10, 11, 12 are consecutive integers. Um, 56, 57, 58, 59 all consecutive integers. So I've got four consecutive integers to add up to uh, 294. So let's just put here, we'll sum our total. So let's see, um, we're going to write out all the numbers so you keep track of what we're trying. So let's see, uh, 23 plus 24, 25, oop, well, let's do 22. So 22, 23, 24, and 25. So I'm just going to take a guess and check approach. So 22 plus 23 plus 24 plus 25 gives us 94. So too small by a lot. So let's try some bigger numbers. Let's try 40. 40 plus 41 plus 42 plus 43. 40 plus 41 plus 42 plus 43. Let's see, 166, getting closer. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's try 50 plus 51, 52. 53, 50 plus 51 plus 52 plus 53, 206, getting real close. Let's try, let's try to jump up to 60. Let's go 60, 61, 62, 63. Okay, 60 plus 61 plus 62 plus 63. Let's see, 246, ooh. Getting close. Let's try 70, 71, 72, 73, plus 71, plus 72, plus 73, 286. We're getting real close now. Let's try. Let's just bump it up a little bit. 71, 72, 73, 74. Let's try that. 71 plus 72 plus 73 plus 74, 290, oh man, getting real close now, let's, one more, let's go 72, 73, 74, and 75, let's see, 72 plus 73 plus 74 plus 75, hey, 294, we hit it, okay, so we found this using a guess and check sort of approach. I want to point something out here. Notice these last few guesses increased by four each time. Coincidence, we're adding four numbers together and we went, we have uh, several guesses that are four apart. Notice here too, if I take these numbers 70, 71, 72, and 73 to bump up to the next set of four numbers, I start at 71 instead of 70. But look, I'm just adding 1 to 70, 1 to 72, 1 to 70, or at 1 to 70 to 71, 71 goes to 72, 72 goes to 73, 73 goes to 74. I've just increased each number in my, in my sum by 1. And there's 4 numbers, so that makes an increase of 4 overall, which is why our next number is 4 bigger. The same thing here, 71, it's up here. Oh. 71 goes to 72, 72 to 73, 73 to 74, 74 to 75. Each number in the sum gets bumped up by one unit, one number, and there's four numbers in the sum, so our next number is four bigger than the one before it. Also, all these numbers are, I mean, not, they're not just four apart, but they're all multiples of four. We could check that. Um, well, no, hold on. They're not all multiples of four. I'm sorry. I was just saying that. Forget I said that. I was thinking about something different. All right, anyways, so up by four each time. So there's a pattern here, and whenever there's a pattern, 
There's probably some kind of rule we could come up for that. That's what we'll talk about later.